Happy Wednesday. Today you're going to be using our class website that I shared with you yesterday in our chat. If you were not here yesterday, uh, the class website is also in Google Classroom in um, the topic class website. Uh, when you open it up, you will see our class website. And for today's lesson, you will be using the ELA section. It'll give you a drop down menu and you're going to want to click Word Masters. Once you get to our Word Master site, um, today you'll be working on Unit 1. Um, what Word Masters will help you with is your vocabulary. Um, so this quarter, we've been working on our reading for 20 minutes in Epic. We've been working on our writing skills with our journals our speaking skills and Flipgrid with our journals. Um, we've also been um, adding in some grammar and writing skills with No Red Ink. Um, and now we're going to tackle a little bit of the vocabulary uh, for this quarter. And how we're going to do that is what I like to call Word Wednesdays. When you open up this site, uh, the first thing that you are going to want to do today is join our class Quizlet. You can join by clicking the link. And it should allow you to log right in to our class. Uh, and in this class, I will be posting all of our WordMaster um, units. Today, you're going to be in WordMaster Unit 1. If you are unable to get into Quizlet, uh, this is where you would want to pause the video and hop in the chat on our Google Meet. <laughs> So that I can help you. So join the Google Meet in the chat um, and let me know that you're having a hard time getting in and you can present your screen so that I can walk you through it. Um, if not, it should load you into WordMaster Unit 1 and for today you can spend some time um, working on flashcards, learning uh, the WordMasters, practicing them, testing yourself even, um, playing a match game, maybe playing Gravity, um, and just kind of looking around Quizlet. Some of you may have used Quizlet before. Um, if you scroll down the Quizlet, it will allow you to see um, all of the terms and the words in the set. Okay, so in this set, there are 22 items for you to practice. Cron, Therm, Deck, Tract, and Uni are our word masters. When you combine those in words, you will find words like chronological, chronicle, decade, decagon, unicycle, unify, thermometer, hypothermia, retract, thermos, decibel, and so forth. Lots of words. There are even more words than this, but these are just some of the vocabulary words that we can create once we know the meaning of our word ma masters. Word masters allow us to learn new words because we know what these mean and then it helps us understand the definition of all of these. So that when we see a word that we might not know, for example, I might not know what a unicycle is, but I do know that uni means one. So when I'm looking for the definition, especially if it's multiple choice, I can look for the definition that matches one because I know uni means one, okay? I also know that cycle means circle. So one circle, what does that have to do with a unicycle? Well, it's a one-wheeled vehicle. So it helps me just determine and break down a word. That's what you're going to be working on today is just practicing. Um, once you feel like you've got a good grasp on unit one, in your Google Classroom, you will be able to take a quick pretest to see uh, if you have, in fact, learned these word masters. Um, there are five quick questions on here. Try not to use your notes. That's um, a little bit of a hint there. If you don't use your notes, you can truly see um, if you were able to practice hard enough today or if you need to practice some more. Okay? So today is all about word masters and learning. Um, and utilizing our website to kind of help you. 
um, and then maybe taking a pretest at the end or uh, when you feel like you have mastered. Once you get there, whatever time is left today will be devoted towards our journals, our writing journals. You should be working on prompt number one, due October 9th. Flipgrids are already available in your classroom. They will look like this. Um, you can do this at any time up until Friday. And then we also have our no writing pathway with our parts of speech. Um, and this is what the pathway looks like. Um, and you should begin to see um, your colored dots, um, your dots colored in. Um, and that just means that you have finished the lesson or you've mastered the lesson. Um, so make sure that you're able to spend some time on that. So today we have a jam-packed day, reading for our 20 minutes in Epic, navigating our Word Wednesdays website, practicing a little bit on Quizlet, maybe taking a pretest if you have time, and then spending whatever time is left over, if any, on your journals, possibly doing a Flipgrid if you have time, um, and no red ink. That is a lot in one day, so you may not get everything done, but you do need to make sure that you do your Word Wednesdays today because that is new information and new practice. So your goal for today is to get through to the pretest. Anything after that is just, I've worked really hard today, Ms. Owens, and I'm boot scooting boogieing. All right, I'm on the meet to help you, and I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Let me know when or if you need me, and I will see you in the chat. Bye.